Yes, yeah, a little Toshiba the laptop. It's an NB two fifty five which is N250 for 250 gig drive. I actually picked it up for a uh, running Spooky 2 off of it, and it's a Windows 7 starter jobber, which is uh, good for that. But there's another use I want it for, and uh, I'm going to be changing out, uh, putting more memory in it. You know, I tell you the truth, uh, you know, actually what you do is you just slide these two things over, and you pull out the battery, which, uh, I'm just going to move this one over. But uh, the... Uh, thing is get this out of here right now it's two sliders the uh, the thing is the uh, I'm gonna be running another device on this and it only comes with one meg uh, this is a Windows 7 starter and they should come with uh, two max two megs which is a small amount of memory but that's okay for Windows 7 starter but um, you know for ten dollars more I don't know why the hell they don't do that but uh, slow is all hell but there's something else I just want to show you how to do the memory first you always want to take the battery out of it though and I just got to unhook this one here this was a used laptop but just picked it up for spooky too because I got several other ones um, so I just gonna move that and get that battery out you always want to take the battery out before you put memory in it to make sure and it's unplugged to make sure you're not gonna screw nothing up you want to make sure it's unplugged no AC no battery with the laptop before you put memory in it and make sure uh, also, that you know your your hands aren't grounded, or you haven't been shuffling your feet around on a on a rug to create any kind of static electricity too. So, so let's get this battery out. Next thing, you got a screw right here, and I took it out. I actually, used a knife on it to get it out. It's a small screw. And this pries up. You got to kind of carefully pry it up uh, because it's in there kind of tight. It's in there tight because then I guess they don't want the memory to move around or something even though it's in there with clips now here's your memory it's in here it's in here with these two slotted clips just push them out the side you see those little clips and there it is okay now what I like to do is I put it on the side right there so I could see how it went you know and we'll get the new one and put it in there and it only takes two megs that's all it can take but I just don't know why the hell they don't make it two megs in the first place because this puppy was slow I only used it for the spooky too, but I got another use for it coming up, and uh, we're going to change this out right now. Okay, so here's the new memory. Make sure you're putting it in the same way. Um, what I like to do, though, is I like to put a real light coat of WD-40 on my finger, and then rub it across these, even though these are probably gold-plated or something, just to make sure they go in there smoother, you know? sometimes these puppies fit so damn tight that you're like pushing them and pushing them and pushing them and uh, once you push them in all the way you can press down and they lock in place that's why I like using a little bit of that WD-40 because sometimes these puppies are in here kind of tight so basically I use two hands I used uh, I kind of pushed this clip over a little bit when I had it all fully seated Sometimes I'll use a magnifying glass even to make sure I got it in there exactly right, but it should just go click. Now that, that fell in place nice and easy, but sometimes these memories, like I said, I don't spray WD-40 on it. I put a little light coat on my fingers, just rub it right across those contacts, just in case it's kind of difficult to push in. Uh, next step, you, you know, put this back on. Uh, the other thing is, though, I want to. you want to make sure that the um, what is it the um, memory is compatible with this I always get lifetime compatible memory um, unfortunately this place I used to go to which is memory-man.com they ain't selling anymore they used to freaking have it where you could pull down every single computer out there every single model and you made sure you got the right one so you really do a lot of research before you put these memory in because I've got memory before that was quality memory from name brands and it supposedly was compatible and you know I had the blue screen of death on my other freaking laptop and I wound up changing it out later on with something that was correct it's another thing I don't know where the heck to get it now I know like um, new egg is pretty good but um, I used to like that place, memory-man.com. I don't see them available anymore. They they had a whole list of every damn computer out there, and you would get the exact right memory. 
Okay, the next step was just to carefully snap this back on, screw it in, put the battery back in. I'll keep the old memory over here just in case that one has a problem and uh, label it. But uh, actually, the reason I did that was because I actually have another product I picked up that I'm going to be demonstrating on this if it works fine. And because this is a portable device I can carry around with me um, that has a good battery life, and it's, it's just perfect because... Um, well, actually, it's a borescope camera, borescope camera, and I'm going to be demonstrating on this laptop, and I want to make sure I had enough memory, and it would just be the right size for that device. So that's why I upgraded this. But um, well, I'll show you what I'll be doing with that. Actually, it's going to be examining um, cars and different types of. It's it's pretty handy if it works as well as I think it should. It should it should be. So that's why I upgraded this. Didn't really need it for spooky, but. Um, you know, it's a good idea to max out the memory on all your laptops anyway because uh, it just makes life a lot easier.